What's up guys? In this episode, I'm going to go through how we jacked up our boat and put it on stands and took the trailer out from underneath it. My buddy needed his trailer back. But I wanted to preface this video by saying Shelby, my 10 year old, basically filmed 95% of this. So it was almost as big a surprise to me watching it as it will be for you. I matched it all together as best I could and hopefully it's some kind of cohesive I don't know mess that you can make some kind of sense out of feel free to leave a question or a comment in the description I'll try to answer it if I can and let's get into it well I don't have a 78 Trans Am to put up on blocks in my front yard but I do have a Thunderbird that I can put up on stands in the shop still don't have a trailer I, I don't know what Manning's doing uh, but until we get one, we're going to put it up on the uh, stands. The buddy's trailer that I've got borrowed since the end of June. He needs it back so he can start on his project for his boat this spring. So I went and borrowed a couple of jacks. I've bought enough stands to put the boat on. And then we'll uh, show you how this goes and hopefully we don't drop it in my floor. So we let the trailer down all the way at the front. So we can run the stands all the way up the back. But... The back of the boat's so high now. I don't want to run the I don't want to run the stands up any higher than they are because they'll get kind of tipsy. So we're gonna go back the other way until they touch the back, and then we'll set the jacks in the front and get it the rest of the way off this trailer. We're basically running each side up until they just barely touch. And this really helps if you've got a, a second person to run the other jack. And you both try to go up as even as possible. That way you're not getting too far out of kilter because otherwise you're just going to run back and forth by yourself. This drive guard on the back of this trailer too made it a pain because if you can see to get the stand up against the boat it's almost got to be on the trailer and we ended up having to block up the rear side once we got the trailer out a little further. Sounds like it's still dragging pretty good. Here's where we jacked up there in the corner. And we're gonna remove this other stand. That way we can get this trailer pulled a little further forward. Here, I think we've actually got something still dragging. So this trailer was actually made for a 47 or 48 foot boat. And our boat's only a 38. And the steps on our boat are smaller than what the bunks on the trailer were made for. So we gotta go way high to get this dude off. Uh, it's really higher than I would prefer, but it's still pretty stable once we got it off. And you'll see here towards the end of the video with it actually in the air, just hanging out. Since our boat's pretty narrow against this trailer, what we've got to do is jack it up, move forward three or four feet, and then we place the front keel on some stands, and then move our jacks forward about four or five feet, just enough to move the trailer again. And you got to keep doing this all the way out, especially on our boat. Uh, for a long boat, it's actually kind of narrow, and it really gives us some trouble trying to get it on and off trailers. Uh, our old trailer, even doing this for uh, some bottom maintenance we did a couple years ago, we had the same issue and it was actually made for the boat. So hopefully the newer trailer we get will be a much bigger improvement and easier to get on and off. I'm glad I'm not a fat guy in this situation.
basically pull the jacks out, move the trailer forward, move the rear or the middle stands further to the front of the boat once we got it past the trailer fenders. Uh, apparently there was some video missing. Uh, somebody wasn't filming. But once we got it up high enough, I had to knock a couple of old bunk boards out. You can see them, that one getting ready to fall. But it's basically rotted off and he's got to redo them anyway, so. Right here, we actually got to move the front stand because that drive guard swings around and it pins in this back corner. And there's a little dog-eared tab that hangs out. And of course, like I said, our boat's so narrow that the trailer's actually a little wide and that stand was gonna hit. So away it goes. There she is, just hanging out, on blocks. No matter how many times you've seen it done, it still looks sketchy as shit. Especially the first time you do it by yourself. Luckily, Nick, the guy I borrowed the jacks from, he's helped me do this twice. I'm pretty confident in it. Still a little uh, nerve-wracking nonetheless, especially when it's your boat up in the air. And here we're just evening it up, leveling it side to side. Basically front to back, we were good, but we were still a little high on this one side. So we're trying to turn all three jacks down equally so we don't teeter-totter. I'm pretty sure this is OSHA approved too. Don't hold me to that, but I think they'd be happy. Here we put a strap across the front two pairs of stands. They don't really need it. It's kind of extra insurance since that spot in the boat's not quite level. That way any shaking or shimmy it uh, might do that hopefully it holds it in place. Just that more uh, extra insurance. All right, look Ma, no hands. What's up? Nobody died. Nothing hit the floor yet. Ooh, had y'all crooked. All right, I guess we're done. Now it's gotta take the trailer back, wait for ours. Now I can start on stuff on the inside. So until next time, see y'all later.